the eve of 21st February, members of the Bengali community, their families and others gathered to celebrate International Mother Language Day and to remember martyrs from the 1952 language movement. Matthew Kellaway, Member of Parliament of Beaches East York, has been organizing this event in this community for the past three years along with political Hello, leaders. And uh, thank you so very much for welcoming me uh, this evening to the International Mother Languages Day event here. Uh, in Crescent Town. February 21st has been designated as International Mother Languages Day, a day set aside by the United Nations to promote the preservation and protection of all languages used This by event people. signifies the parents' respect for the language movement and culture, which is showcased through the colorful performance of their children. <laughs> Olivia Chow, Member of Parliament for Trinity Spadina, attended the event in recognition of the significance of International Mother's Language Day. Our children and our children's children maintain our mother language, mother tongue, and our culture and our heritage. That's why today is so important to celebrate. India. Nepali? Nepalese? No. Come, 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 come. Tamil. Say it again. Tamil. Tamil, yes. So my mother language is Tamil. I am uh, very proud to be able to speak my mother language. Canada is a great place, a, a wonderful country that allows us to learn who we are as individuals. As an MPP, I think it is my responsibility to try to teach people about the importance of this day, not only in the Bangladeshi community, but for everyone. And I'm hoping in the next uh, little while uh, to make sure that this expands into the schools and that kids, no matter where they're from, no matter what their culture is, learn about this and celebrate it together. We live and work together in peace and harmony is a model that we can show to the rest of the world. And that's why days like today are very important to support and why I'm happy to support Matthew's uh, bill in Parliament uh, and also the formation of the Canada-Bangladesh Parliamentary Friendship Association where Matthew is the president and I'm the vice president. And we're going to work to foster better relations and closer relations between Canada and Bangladesh so that we can accomplish more together. For about 18 months now I've been pursuing federal recognition of International Mother Language Day. I've been talking to the Conservative government, uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, the Conservative House Leader in an effort to have the federal government, this government, recognize International Mother Language Day. 
Uh, in December, I put forward a unanimous consent motion in the House of Commons to have February 21st of each and every year recognized as International Mother Language Day by the Federal Government of Canada. That was rejected by both Conservative and Liberal MPs in the House of Commons. So a couple of weeks ago, in February of this year, I tabled a private member's bill uh, that calls upon uh, the federal government to recognize February 21st as International Mother Language Day. I'm one of the joint seconders of the private member's bill to create uh, International Mother Language Day as a national day here in Canada and uh, looking forward to the day when that becomes a national day that we in, in Canada celebrate across the country remember and celebrate across the country. I do believe we should also be looking to find a permanent monument uh, to uh, allow the Bangladeshi community and other language communities to celebrate and honor first the protection of first languages, mother tongues, every year in a permanent location somewhere in the city of Toronto. Didn't think about it.